we had just finished uh, a eight day follow up for a FTM double incision surgery with free nipple graft or FTM top surgery. Uh, the result looks great. Uh, we just took the bolsters off the free nipple grafts. It's been eight days and the drain output is very low. It's less than 10 cc's for 24 hours and that's a good time to remove the drains. Generally, we want well under 25 cc's for 24 hour period to remove the drains. And sometimes people are traveling from far away, so we like to make sure that they know how to take them out at home so they don't have to make a special trip back just to remove the drains. So to take the drain out, the first thing to do is to release the suction. So we just unscrew the cover, or sometimes it just has a flip cover, and then just put the cap back on. So, so we just put that back in place. And then if there's a little dressing that holds from the drain pulling, we just gently pull that back without tearing the skin. Same thing if there's a drain dressing around the drain, we just gently pull that back. Sometimes it can be a little rough on armpit hair, so I apologize. Awesome. once we have that dressing completely free then if we look there's a stitch that holds the drain in place a suture so if you give a little bit of pullback on the drain the suture should become very easy to see which I can see right there if you come underneath the stitch that's around the drain with a fine pair of scissors and cut it'll release that stitch then the drain is free and then all that has to be done is the drain can be pulled straight out and there'll be some pressure and a weird sensation and the drain will come right out and just need steady back pressure a lot of times there's a little bit of blood clot that comes with the removal of the drain and we just clean the blood clot up where the drain came out and we put a little neosporin just around that wound. The uh, incision for the drain will close in about 24 hours. And a lot of times if you cut the stitch right around the drain itself, there's a little piece of stitch left. These stitches do dissolve eventually, but they can be removed right at the skin. All the other stitches are internal. So there's nothing to, to worry about inside. And if we just trim that stitch right as it goes through, then we can actually remove that. Sometimes it's pretty tight against the skin, so we try not to cause too much discomfort in cutting that. So that can come out like that. We just removed the dressings and the drains from an FTM double incision with free nipple graft or top surgery. Uh, the patient's doing great, looking great. The incisions are healing beautiful. The wound care after the removal of the drains and dressings is very simple. So with the kit that we send patients with, it has Neosporin or triple antibiotic ointment in it. This is enough ointment or more than enough to treat both sides. I like this done somewhere between two to four times a day. Uh, the compression garment would be over top of this, over top of dressings, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. It's very simple. With a gloved finger, you're just going to take a little bit of that ointment. The ointment goes straight around the free nipple graft and then right over the graft. You do not want to gob the ointment on. It should just be shiny. It shouldn't be so much that you could wipe it off. And then the remainder of the ointment just goes along the wound itself right along the incision. So we just put that right along the incision line in a thin shiny coat. To dress that where the drain came out, we'll just put a gauze and the compression garment can hold that gauze in place. And then I usually just open up a gauze 
and that open gauze will go over everything else. And it just needs to be a thin layer. It's just designed to keep the, the ointment off of the garment. So we're gonna put that there and leave that in place. When you remove this in order to shower or to put new ointment on, it needs to be removed very carefully so it doesn't pull the nipple graft off. If it's quite stuck, this can be wet down and let soak a little bit in order to just ease the gauze off of the nipple graft.